expressionsvinyl.com and today I'm going to show you how to add some heat transfer to some shoes. We're going to be doing some bridal shoes and some groom shoes today, but you can do this for any party, wedding, proms, dances, anything like that you want to do. So we're going to start with our bride shoes first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some plain shoes, whether you've got them already, you don't have the money to get some new shoes, or you've got some and you just want to bling them up. We're going to turn some plain shoes into something that's ready for the dance floor. So what we're first going to want to start off with is designing our knockout onto our shoe. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Silhouette Studio. What the knockout does is it creates a negative between the pink and the white, or the rose gold and the white. And so they're not actually layered, it's kind of puzzle piece together. So I'm going to show you how to do that, but what you're first going to want to start with is take the measurement on the back of your shoe to your next breaking point. So from here to there, that's three inches. So cut your vinyl into three inch strip and then stick it on your mat and we're going to send it to the studio. I just kind of guessed on this angle and it worked for me, but if you want to kind of play with it, I would first try it on maybe some cardstock before you get your final cut going. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do the knockout in Silhouette Studio. Okay, so we're in Silhouette Studio and I've already got my misses typed out and this is using the watermelon script font. So what we're first going to want to do is set up our mat. So go to your cutting mat and select the size you have. I have a 12 by 12. And this weeding box, I'm not actually going to use. This is just showing me the strip that I have. So change your dimensions to 12 by 3. And you can adjust this however. It gets a little bit discombobulated when you're working this way. So if you go to your rotate view here, I'm going to actually rotate the whole page as if I'm looking at it from the shoe's point of view. Remember this is heat transfer, so you're working backwards. So on my shoe, this portion is actually going to be going this way, and this is going to be going up instead of down. So this is correct. If you're not sure, cut it with cardstock or anything beforehand to do a test. I also want this closer to the edge than here, because this seam right here is actually the heel of my shoe, and it's going to wrap around right there. So let's go ahead and get it cutting. All right, so we've got our vinyl already cut out, and it's mirrored, and it's upside down a little bit backwards, but when we go to weed it out, it's going to be the correct way, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to take your vinyl, and you're going to line up. Remember how I said that this was closer because this end part was going to be on the heel? You're just going to line that portion up. Okay, so it's kind of handy that there's a seam right here. So I'm just going to line it up as straight as I can. And honestly, once you get this whole thing covered, you're not going to see any of your seams. And I just want to make sure that it's turning how I want it to. And that looks good. Okay, so I've got my vinyl lined up pretty center with the back of my shoe. So I'm going to take my dritzed mini iron and I have it set to a four. You might want to do some tests beforehand, but four works great on here. Okay, and then you're just going to do just a little bit of pressure. Try not to go down to any of the rubber part of the sole and just go along the edge until you see it adhering down. All we're doing right now is activating the glue so that it's holding the vinyl in place. That's all this is doing. And then we'll go in and show you some tricks here. Okay, so let's check that. Just take off your carrier sheet. If it's not quite ready, just keep going a little bit more. It's almost there. Okay, so we're just activating the glue. Just get it good stick down. And I'm going to actually take off this carrier sheet first because we want to save some vinyl. I'm going to cut this off because I can actually use this piece for down here. So just take that carrier sheet off. Be very careful when it comes to this section because you've got a bunch of openings that can create some weird gaps. And then just kind of conform the vinyl down. Don't worry about down here. Just kind of focus on the misses. And just get that down and good. You might get some ripples, that's okay. It's just the adhesive expanding. And once it cools down, they will flatten out. Okay, so that is down mostly. 
So just keep going until the care sheet comes up clean. And then we're gonna take the whole care sheet off once this is down and good. And we're just gonna move it around to kind of get the vinyl to conform to all the curves. There we go. Okay, so now you've got all this exposed heat transfer. Some of it's not down, some of it is. Now what I'm gonna do, keep this, because now it's free to move around. And you are just going to take your iron and be careful of the leather that you've got here and just go butt right up against it. You'll kind of um, see a seam come about. So just kind of keep that as your guide. Okay, and just keep repeating that process. When it comes to this section right here, because I don't want to touch the heels because they're usually a soft plastic, just take your care sheet and line it up as best you can and just kind of fold it over. That'll give you a good guide so you don't go into that. And then when you go to trim it, you know exactly where you need to cut it off. Okay, so now that I've got the edges down really well, I'm just gonna take my box knife, make sure you have a fairly sharp blade because heat transfer, once you go to trim it off that care sheet, it kind of wants to stretch a little bit. So just go very slow and go right into the seam of your heel. And then do the same thing up the top here. Be mindful of your leather. If it's not quite down, that's okay. Just go right into the joint. And then you're just gonna do the same thing on the inside of your shoe. I cut a little bit extra because it's almost easier when you go into these little crevices to take your iron and go along the edge there because it will kind of break away the glitter from the other piece. So you can just kind of melt it away. So now that I've got that extra there, it's gonna be at a funny angle. So I'm just going to straighten that up so I can light up my next layer or my next section square with that. So I can take that scrap from before and I wanna make sure that it's got enough room up here and down here when I conform it. So doing the same thing, just butt your vinyl right up to the next line and keep going. This will be the same technique we did on the back back here. Okay, and then once that's down and secure, just take that carrier sheet off so that it can conform a lot smoother. And just keep moving it down. Okay, and just be mindful again of your sole seam. Okay, and same thing as before that we did right here, just do along this same seam. Just fold your carry sheet down inside and kind of bend the heat transfer in. And then if there's any excess on the inside, you can just go in and trim it off. So 
Now that I took my back piece that was extra, I need to trim another piece. You don't need a machine for it, you can just use a paper cutter. So we're just going to take a paper trimmer. And I'm just going to stick with a three inch theme. And this one, you can probably go a little bit longer. So you're still going to want to butt it up. But since this goes up at an angle, you might have to kind of start out in the middle and then work your way there. This is probably the easiest part because you can keep going. And then once you find that center, you can just trim it off and then kind of smooth it out. And I will tell you the reason why we're doing HTV is because the glitter is more pronounced and the adhesive tends to show lines a lot more. For every little angle that you butt up, you'll see a line. Heat transfer, you can kind of diminish that. So I'm just gonna cut off some of the extra and just keep working my way to the front. one side of our shoe done you're going to take the negative I did it in white and we're just going to apply our knockout to the inside of our misses okay and there we have our misses and you're just going to continue doing that same effect to the other side. your shoes you are all ready for the dance floor for your bride so now we're going to move on to our groom shoes and we are just going to put them on some fun converse and we're just going to add mister to his shoes so we'll do that real quick to help with shoes like this that have really no support behind them I'm just gonna put a towel on the inside or anything that will kind of make it bulky and we're just gonna press it up against the side. So we've got our mister, I'm just gonna hold the towel up against the side, line it up to where I would like it to be. I think that looks pretty good. And your carrier sheet on Easyweed is still sticky. The glitter sometimes won't be, but you're just gonna hold it down and then take your Drift Mini Iron again Okay, and then just pull your carry sheet off. And now your groom's shoes are ready to go and your bride's shoes are ready to go. So now we've got Mr. and Mrs. ready for the dance floor. If you like this video, leave any comments below, any questions you have, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and stay tuned for more fun videos. Bye guys.